Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and this time just a quick little chat around capacitors. Now if you have a lot of computer, old computers and arcade equipment and so forth, um, capacitors, you're going to come across capacitors sooner or later. Yesterday my father-in-law brought an old PC around to me for me to tinker on to try and fix and uh, while looking at it immediately I saw that there was something wrong with the capacitors and uh, I replaced the capacitors and yes the PC is working again. So a capacitor, let me just hold up one here as an example so you know what I'm talking about. Here it is over here. You know you'll find capacitors in all circuit boards or most circuit boards and you know with age they deteriorate. They start to leak. There's fluid inside here and it starts to deteriorate and leak and eventually it will become non-operational. And then your circuit won't work, your computer won't work, your arcade motherboard won't work and then it's time to fix it and uh, you're going to have to replace these. Now you need to know when to replace them and when not to replace them. So this is just going to be a quick little uh, capacitors for dummies 101 on uh, how do you test a capacitor, what do you use to test the capacitor and uh, what a capacitor is. Okay so basically what is a capacitor? Well I mean in layman's terms basically a capacitor is two conductors that are separated by an insulator. Now why would you want that? Well basically it can control the flow of voltage in a circuit um, and you can store a voltage in a capacitor much like a battery, sort of similar to a battery uh, but except that a battery will release that energy slowly over time once it's been stored this will release it very very quickly and uh, that's why it's used in circuits in order to control that voltage and the energy flow in the actual circuit board. Well, basically that's how I understand it. <laughs> okay, but not so much on the actual theory of it. Um, I just want to have a look and show you quickly you know, how we can test capacitors and how do we see whether a capacitor is faulty or not. So first off, let's have a look at how do we test the capacitor. And you can see there a capacitor is measured in farads. This capacitor that I'm holding is a 16 volt. 3300 microfarad capacitor and this is one of those that I replaced in the circuit board yesterday and here I have my trusty little ESR meter Let me just get it into focus now I bought this these are not too expensive I bought this on eBay from China you know everything from China is cheap and uh, they're really just for free which is what I like about China so I'm just going to show you very quickly how do we go about measuring a capacitors to see whether a capacitor is faulty or not so using an ESR meter okay so if I go and I switch this ESR meter on I'm not sure if you can actually see it over there but basically the first thing you need to do is to short out the terminals so therefore it basically zeroes it much like a scale will zero before you measure anything so I short out the two terminals I hit the zero button and it says there please wait short test leads and there it zeroes it down to zero okay so now that my ESR meter has been zeroed I can and you can do this in circuit as well which is awesome so let's take this good which I know is a good one attach it there's the negative leg attach that to the negative leg attach the positive to the positive leg and it will start measuring it straight away so this particular meter I just want to grab something to point with it's giving me it's reading of 0 0.034 uh, and it's, that's its resistance because remember I said to you it's two conductors with an insulator and it's saying there for a 25 volt cap now this is a 16 volt cap this is a good cap with a low ESR a low ESR so this is an ESR meter it's telling me that it's a good cap so on the actual thing I can if I really want to test it check it out it's actually got a scale here and it's a 3300 microfarads so I can have a look along here it's a 16 volt come down so anything less than 0 0.2 basically about over there somewhere around there it's in a good range so it shouldn't have any issues with that now let's test or have a look at the capacitors which I removed from that PC I was speaking about. Now the first thing I noticed when I looked at these capacitors on the circuit board and I'm hoping you'll be able to see it. Um, the first thing was that 
I could see that there was something that had leaked out the top of these capacitors. Let me hold it a little bit closer. I'm sure you can see there. I've actually cleaned it off already at the top, but there you can see some leakage. The other thing that's very obvious is that it's got a bit of a dome on the top there. Now if you look at the good capacitor, it's, it's flat on the top, and you look at these bad capacitors, you can see they've got a sort of a dome shape on the top there. So the signs that if you don't have an ESR meter, you know, just with the naked eye, you can have a look at a capacitor and see, you know, one is there leakage coming out the capacitor or around the capacitor, or it's got this like dome shape on the top, immediately then it's showing that there's an issue. So now let's go and measure this capacitor. So here it is here. This is a 3300 microfarad, you can see there, capacitor, and it's a 6.3 volts, so it's a very cheap little capacitor. You know, the higher the voltage, normally the more expensive the capacitor, and obviously the more power it can handle. Uh, let's just attach here, so I'm going to attach that, and then I'll go and I'll attach that on there. And now I'm actually going to hold this up so that you can see it over there and it's telling me that it's it, first of all it's telling me that this is a good capacitor if it is less than 47 microfarads definitely not this is 3300 microfarad and it's giving me a resistance of 1.55 so it is a this capacitor you know basically its resistance is way too high and uh, therefore a bad capacitor so very simple to measure, so I identified which was the bad capacitor and uh, replaced it. But I, okay, so in summary then guys, if you want to, get hold, just get hold of one of these ESR meters. As I said, they're not that expensive. Get them on eBay. It is a, a better way of actually testing capacitors. Otherwise, like I mentioned, a capacitor that is dying or going bad may be discolored. It could be leaking. It's also got that dome shape on the top there and uh, capacitors are not that expensive new ones just replace them and you know you can get many more years of use out of your electronic uh, goods and gadgets so guys I hope you enjoyed that just a quick little tutorial on uh, capacitors and uh, yeah cheers from me and keep it retro